Resident Evil 2 Remake 2019 is a zombie survival horror game. It's a series I believe there are ten of them. It takes place in Raccoon City Police Station two months after Resident Evil 1. It's full of action, puzzles, and scares to keep the heart rate up. And the building is a puzzle itself, kind of maze, like with twists and turns full of horror. There are also movies and TV series about Resident Evil which go with the games. The puzzles are challenging, but not so difficult that you're quit. The story itself keeps you on edge to see what happens next. There are unexpected scenes that keep you guessing. There are two characters, Claire and Leon, both with their own stories that occasionally intertwine different ends, and it has two parts if you start as Leon the second half your play as Claire. Leon and Claire also have different guns. Leon has three pistols, shotgun, and a flamethrower. Claire has two revolvers, grenade launcher, and a really powerful taser. I used to play the older ones when I was little, and I think they may have changed the story a little. But it has been a long time since I've played the older ones. Resident Evil was the first horror game that I played it. It came out in 1996. As far as the gameplay itself, the ammo and items are limited, so you're always running or trying to find bullets or health. There are different types of zombies, and they're not all human. They'll pop around corners and surprise you, plus it's dark. Most are slow. They can be hard to shoot. Some of the more mutated ones move faster and hit harder. They have their own weakness, like with the tongue monster, it's blind. So if you move slow and don't make any noise, you can just walk by. There are raccoon collectibles, outfits, and concept art you can unlock, as well as four different mission-involving side characters you can play as that have their own short story and extra modes. The fourth survivor and the ghost survivors with three missions, no time to mourn. Run away. The forgotten soldier. And the fourth survivor you play as an umbrella agent trying to escape with limited supplies. No time for mourning you play as the father of the infected child at gun store. Runaway, you play as the dead girl in the orphanage with the chief. And the forgotten soldier, you play as another Umbrella agent members of same group that went in to get the doctor. This is a very gory game with buckets of blood and limbs. I would recommend to any horror fans, and if you've played before, it's worth a revisit. Subscribe for more content.